Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall be discussing on types of threads. So before I start the session, I request my audience to please subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends. So let us begin the session. The topic is types of threads or I have written here a slash multi-threading models, which are the different multi-threading models. So first let us see See, basically the types of, uh, in the previous sessions now you have the complete concept of, I have explained the concept of the threads and all. So this thread, it can be of two types. One is the user level threads and another is the kernel level threads. The user level threads and kernel level threads, okay. Now user level threads we have given the name is given because it is created by the user. Now how does the user create these threads? Look here it is with the help of the thread library that is available. So completely it is managed by what it is the complete management of the threads is done at, by using the thread library and many user level threads are mapped to one kernel level thread this sentence i'll be telling you once i explain you what the user level threads diagram look at this diagram see so the very first thing i wanted to tell you is user level threads are created in the user space and the kernel level threads are created in the space meant for the kernel so kernel is what it is the heart of the operating system it is the main module of the operating system so <clears throat> Without that, definitely any program will not work. Now, when we say that user level threads are there and kernel level threads are there, user level threads are managed without the support of the kernel. Now, when these two threads are there, there should be some mapping also between the user level threads and kernel level threads. This diagram gives you the complete picture of what, see, look here, this is the user space and this is the kernel space. Now, in the user space, this circle, whatever I am uh, writing here is, is indicating a process. And you know that a process can have multiple threads. So these threads of the processes are created by the user. Now look here in this example, in this diagram, it is shown that there are two processes. So these are the two different processes created by the user. Now this process P1 has got three, thread, three threads, just for example, P2 has got four threads. So thread management here is completely carried out using the thread library. So you can see in the user space itself, the complete information about the threads is stored. For that to indicate also in the diagram, here I am showing three different rows, which indicates that one row is having information about one thread. Since there are three threads, three rows we are showing here. There are four threads in this process, four rows are showing here. So complete information is there in the user space. What about the kernel? Kernel looks at all these threads. Kernel is not aware of this user level threads. Kernel assumes that there are only two processes. So what does kernel maintain? Kernel is maintain, maintaining only information about these two processes. That's why I'm indicating here only, see, process one and process two. These two rows we are showing here in the diagram. So what about the features of this user level threads? And also this diagram will help you because whatever is shown here, the user level threads, the more number of user level threads can be created, but it is mapped to what one kernel level thread. So one kernel level thread that itself will give you the name as what many to one model. This many to one model has got these features. First and foremost thing already I have told just now, it is completely managed by the uh, thread library. And what about the blocking system call? So suppose if more number of threads of the user are mapped to one kernel thread, if a particular thread makes a blocking system call, then <coughs> what happens to the other threads which are getting executed. So in this model, since one all the threads are mapped to one kernel level thread, if any thread makes a blocking system call, the other threads also get blocked. The reason is this particular when user level thread, user thread gets blocked, the kernel thread also gets blocked. When this gets blocked, this threads, the other remaining threads of this process are not able to access the <coughs> kernel thread. For that reason, this is one of the like uh, disadvantage only you can say, definitely because it is blocking the complete, uh, it is blocking the remaining threads of that process. Multiple threads are unable to run in multi-core or multi-processor system. This is another feature of this particular model, which model? Many to one model. If at all more than 
one threads that is multiple user threads though they are created by the user but since it is mapped only to one kernel thread even though the system is having what multiple processors or a single processor with multiple cores but still the other threads will not be able to execute because only one kernel thread is available here which is mapped to all the user threads so this is this also you can say it as a disadvantage only so the next one is now come to the next topic here kernel level threads that was all about what the first type of thread that is the user level you can see in the kernel space the kernel space has got information about all the threads that are there in the user as well it is maintaining the complete information about the process look here once again there are two processes this process has got three threads this process has got four threads totally how many seven threads so here we can write down this also this is like a thread table thread table this is a process table because it is maintaining information about these two processes so here also you can write down this is what this is a process table and this is a thread table okay so in kernel level threads this is what is the difference you can see very clearly the kernel is aware of the user level threads also it is maintaining information about the complete thread table so whenever a process is having multiple threads for all those threads a separate thread table will be there and th those in for that particular table is shown here in this diagram now look here when you want to see cl more clearly which model is actually uh, kernel level threads uses which model it makes use of one to one model for one to one model the same diagram you can show it here one to one why we are using the name itself will give you the clear picture one user thread is mapped to one uh, kernel thread so let us see the different features since kernel threads main uh, uses one to one model what are the different features of this model one user level thread is mapped to one kernel thread what about blocking system call here you should know what happens if a thread makes a blocking system call so if one single thread makes a blocking system call only that particular thread is not able to execute and that is getting blocked whereas other threads can definitely continue with their execution because they are mapped to what their corresponding kernel threads they can access their corresponding kernel threads then multiple threads are able to run that is what i said even though if a thread makes a blocking system call the other threads are able to run they are able to run if a system is having what more than definitely if it is one to one model you are expecting here what how many more than one uh, processor so that it, it all once again depends on what uh, how many uh, processors that particular machine has so depending on that only there is a limit here for the user to create the number of threads creating kernel level thread leads to overhead this you can write it as a disadvantage because any point of time if a user level thread is created the corresponding kernel level thread should also get created the overhead of creating a kernel thread is more restrict the number of user level threads supported by the system uh, more number of threads or any number of threads cannot be created by the user because the system is restricting whatever number of processors the system has got it is limiting to that many threads then and also i wanted to tell you in the previous uh, model that is many to one model the example is green threads green threads a thread library available for solaris is an example let us see now the third type of implementation which is what which is combining the features of both user level threads and the kernel level threads and that is called as the hybrid hybrid implementations you can always learn this with this particular model which is called as many to many mo model many to many as the name indicates many user level threads are multiplexed onto less or equal number of kernel threads less or equal if there are four threads here it can be multiplexed into either four kernel threads or lesser than four so the developers can create as many user threads as necessary and the corresponding threads can run in parallel on multi -proce multi processors so once again in hybrid uh, implementations what is possible since you can see there are more there is more than one kernel thread even threads can run parallel if the system is having what more than one processor if blocking system call what is that uh, what is happening if a thread makes a blocking system call if there if a thread makes a blocking system call 
the kernel can schedule definitely another thread for execution because it is not going to block the complete what the remaining kernel threads only and it, there is also not one to one. So, the, definitely it is going to make a very big advantage in this model as even if one thread gets blocked the kernel can schedule other threads for execution any other thread for execution. So, these are the different features for the hybrid implementation and uh, to give the example you can look uh, you can see here for the first one many to one model as I said this is one example green threads one to one model see all these operating systems whatever we are using every day the windows linux and mac os all these makes use of one to one model and many to one model these are the different examples <coughs> this session is all about what multi threading models or you can say the different types of threads all user level threads kernel level threads and the hybrid implementations so hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care